Hello. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the fur in Modo. So, let's get started quickly. So first, I'm going to create a plane for crown. Enough. And quickly, we'll assign the material, say fur. Okay. Doesn't matter. Then, in shader tree, I'll apply the fur material. Now you can see yes, some things, something has happened. Let's check out the preview render. Yeah. And for the sake of good quality, I recommend you to switch on the global illumination, but switch off the irradiance caching. Fur runs faster with brute force. If you switch on the irradiance caching, it will switch back to irradiance caching, but if you off, it will uh, get back to the brute force rendering. Okay, so here's our fur, and uh, first I'll increase the fur length to 250, or even more, 400 millimeters. That's the unit, and the spacing is. Okay, I'll get 35, some few less kind of hairs. Now, let's tweak the shape. In first shape, there is a attribute called flex, which will straighten the loading the flex will stretch out the grass. Let's make it 10. And uh, we're happy with this, actually. And now it's time to give some color to our fur. So I'll choose a gradient and input parameter will be fur length, fur parametric length. Now click on edit gradient and a new pop-up window will come which will be a graph editor. Now this value will be determined as the base of the fur and middle click For the sake of view, I'll change the environment color. Okay. So here's our fur, but unnecessarily we are dealing with a lot many p polygons and let's render this out fast and see how many polygons we are having. Uh, render and render. Oh, render. I'll pause the video here and I'll get back to you after it renders. Okay, so rendering is almost finished. Hardly took a minute and a half. But we are dealing with 25,864 polygons. So we can tweak this out by go to form material and max segment. Let drop down to 4. This might change shape, but you'll be dealing with less polygons. and So, let's take a render output. And again, same, I'll be pausing the video. Okay, so we are back, and now this time we are dealing with 14,260 polygons. So, we have reduced the number of polygons, but the effect looks the same. And it's as you can see the tip is not 100% tapered like here you can see so we'll tweak this in fur material there is a taper value and make this 100% and 
another thing let me type if you put on two strips they will be dealing as a single strip for each foot as you can see here it's a single strip not a rounded cylinder sometimes this is good but for now I'll be dealing with cylinders now you don't want this much of grass on land or only a particular area to be filled with the grass in the middle with uh, something else like a pond so what you can do is simply add a density map and tell model to use that density map as your fur so let's add a layer of image hit a new image and I'll call it for density set. and the floating uh, set color to white so and for the better performance let's switch up the fur material and let's paint I'll go to the paint tab choose airbrush use any kind of brush within the tool I'll increase density to 100% now right click to adjust the size of brush I'll choose a black color and I don't want my grass to be grow in this particular area Okay. Okay, so whenever there is a white, there will be a grass, and there is a black, there will be a ground. Okay, so this is created over here, and now change the effect to for density. Now switch on the fur material. Let's get back to model view and I'll open up the preview renderer and you can see now there's a lots of grass in a white area where what we painted and uh, less where there is a black which is not completely less but we can tweak this but I hope you get the point on how to set a density for fur now if you use the same map if you duplicate it and choose it as a fur length you'll get a different result or whether it's a there's a gray it will be more taller and where there is a black it will be very short so, so here we quickly tweaked out the fur which is out of our range so now let's take a render of this I'll get back to you after render completes okay so rendering is almost finished and in a fairly same time it took a few less but we get a pattern for for our landscape and you can have a pond over here some stones and flowers and you can add your imagination and make it more beautiful so this is it I'm calling up I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial on model so okay thank you for watching